creature you found in the Devil's Pass is essentially an oversized leech, a bloodsucker of sorts. Its stomach acids prevent blood from coagulation. So it's like a living container? Precisely. Moreover, according to microscopic analysis, the blood within the leech is remarkably old. It's not only that, it isn't like anything we've ever seen. And Felicity feeds it to her familiars. Ah, gotta learn more about that sawmill and how it's all connected. The McCallum Sawmill was founded in 1845 by Elijah McCallum, the definition of a small town family operation. After Elijah's death two years ago, the mill was bought out by an investor representing the Andalusia Financial Services Group, an conglomerate of banks, oil fields, railways, you name it. What does a big fish like that want with a shitty little sawmill on the ass end of nowhere? It's unclear. The purchase itself was entirely above board. What about the forest? Old native ritual sites, burial mounds, anything? Nothing a note, no. Well, I guess I'll just have to figure this out on my own then. Thanks for your time, Dr. Blackwell. I... I live to serve, sir. I'll get back to my research now. I have a bad feeling about this. Zapper's acting up. The glamour must be near. Holy shit. Chester did say something about the source of the glamour. This must be it. The source. More disgusting than I even imagined. The glamour's probably secured by more of these ugly tumors. You need to take them out to destroy the illusion.
Probably there's one or maybe two sources more.
Guess that was the last source. Let's see what you're hiding there. Easy. That damn smell doesn't bode well. Let's take a look, see. Christ, it's a goddamn blood factory. one of the workers here. that in this damn jungle. Hell, these things are alive and pumping blood. 
got a bad feeling about its source.
eagles. Traces I see. That's never a good sign.
this is where those beasts get their magical blood from. Once that ancient fella and Baxter was sucked dry, she found you, huh? Christ, I'm starting to hate mythology. Anybody ever heard of a colossal monster with a forest growing on its back? Cause I got some samples. Mine. That's a Mikanak. In Huron Indian folklore, it's some kind of minor deity. It was covered head to toe in those damn leeches. That means we found yet another blood factory set up by Dubano and Felicity. That would explain why they attacked Baxter. They were protecting their source. The ancient blood they used to transform their familiars. Bad news is this Mikanak thing was supplying their war for quite some time now, allowing those foul bloods to spread all over the country. The good news is, it won't do it anymore. Davis. Even if he doesn't kill us in our sleep, that link in his head will lead the ticks right to us. Then let them come. Killing ticks is what the Rentier Institute does. You listen to yourself? This isn't about your birthright. This is what happens when we run a government agency like a goddamn monarchy. All our protocols go out the window as soon as Daddy Dearest. Keep talking to me about the rules, you bureaucratic shrew. Please, we're all on the same team, remember? Only when it suits him. How about finally telling me where Edgar went? He's in Morapa, searching for the plant to make the regen compound. The regen compound? Now you're wasting what little resources we have left chasing a fairy tale? Listen, Mr. Gravener's an experienced agent. If he didn't have faith in his mission, he wouldn't bother. We are at war, Doctor. Who else is worth saving if not the leader of the Institute? And in the long run, it could help everybody if the thing by some miracle actually works. You have until tomorrow morning. In the meantime, your father will be restrained and placed under round-the-clock supervision. Fine. I'm gonna get Edgar's ass out of those swamps. And if I get back with that plant and I still see that shotgun in your hand, you better damn well prove you know how to use it. You picked a strange time to assert yourself, Virgil. Why'd you back Jesse's quest for this ridiculous compound? Just because the scientists at the manor didn't find anything, doesn't mean there isn't something there. I mean, did they ever let you take a look? No. We have a habit at Calico of making the impossible happen, Doctor. I fixed Mr. Jesse's gauntlet, made it better even. Scott found the best lead we have with those leeches. If anyone can make that compound work, it's you.
Those are Edgar's. Must have found that plant here. This way. Christ. Wish I had a map of this place. Looks like you managed to escape. Must have been in a hurry if he dropped his damn crossbow. I'm sure Edgar wouldn't mind if I took advantage of this little beauty. except those freaks. Thank you. 
Place smells like death. Jesus, my set on camp here. Got it. spider web. Covered with thorns. It grows only in the marshlands. They're teeth marks. Oh, it's sucked dry. Why? Some desperate soul looking for a cure? Uh, it's of no use to me now. Freak was hunting him down. I guess this is that giant arachnid's lair.
All right, let's stick to the facts. Bloom researched vampiric legends, a, a lot of myths and hoo-ha about some sort of plan. One that could allegedly reverse the process of the change. It's considered an affront to the purity of the royal blood. Ominous. But can it work? From a biological point of view? Now and then, some of those legends contain a grain of truth. An endemic species like this may have peculiar properties. If researched properly, some cell mutations, I don't know. Imagine how many people we could save if you made it work. Look, I'm not a miracle worker, Virgil, but I'll give him a best shot. More money. Got killed to keep that plant safe, <laughs> but kept on going. That's true grit. used to be thick as thieves.
more money. Almost there. Oh. <laughs> Didn't expect that in this damn jungle. Look healthy. Better run quick before it sinks.
finders keepers. thing down on top of me.
Say I trust you, Edgar. Taking it. Ancient gates. I have a bad feeling about this.
get stuck in here. Find a way. Move those damn blocks. Whatever you gotta do. Edgar? Sure. 